This is a short introduction to Nogglepedia. Um, so this is the clean Noggle client screen uh, with the search requests on the left hand side your search results screen and on the right hand side the new section for the nail Nogglepedia it starts with a clean reading desk. So you execute your um, search requests with your search client so the search results will show up here on the list and the first functionality is the so-called reading desk. So once you found a document which might be interesting to your current uh, search topic, um, you can drag and drop it um, via the mouse. Yeah, just click it and drag it to the right hand side where the reading call desk is. So um, you can then rephrase your um, search queries. Um, to check for other documents or other ways how to search it then you find another interesting documents and drag and drop it onto your reading desk. So in this way you can execute different search requests and just via drag and drop put the interesting topics on the right hand side to your reading desk. So you can continue for deep search or really document uh, in detail reading later on. So the, the reading desk really speeds up your research process as you can change search queries and just put the right uh, documents um, onto your reading desk. So this is the first feature. So the reading desk is saved. So even if you clean up your um, search queries here um, um, or even restart the application, um, the reading desk stays the same. So you can start a deep search later on. So what is important when you have dragged and dropped a document on the reading desk, you don't move the document. So it's not about a copy of the document which is saved there. Noggle has a proprietary algorithm to build a fingerprint out of the document. So what is, what is dropped here on the reading desk is just the very short sequence of bits and bytes which allows the Noggle client to identify the document from the full text content perspective. So this is important. This is not just another storage location or, or SharePoint like uh, um, structure here. This is the Noggle fingerprint which is saved here with all related document information. So once you've saved uh, the fingerprint to your reading desk, you can even execute similarity research requests later on. So once you think, ah, this is document, yeah, this is really inform interesting, you can execute just by a mouse click similarity searches. So what Noggle now has done, it has used the fingerprint of the document from this document here, put it into your library and executed a similarity search on this document here. What you see now that on the first result this document has been found and all the other related documents out of all the libraries you have selected. So this way helps to secure interesting documents via fingerprints and the similarity search then helps you to yeah, find this or related document at any point in time in the future. So even if the document will be moved on the storage location or you put the document later in archive storage uh, places or whatever, via the similarity search you will always find new or different storage location of the document and even newer version. So once they have evolved or colleagues have worked on this document, uh, the fingerprint allows you even to find the newer versions. So this is the really intelligent feature of the Noggle document fingerprint here. Um, yeah, this is, this is the reading desk. So if you have finalized your research on one topic, um, you can save this document collection under a specific topic name. So this was the research, um, uh, research topic one, however you name it. Um, create a new library, pre-fill from the reading desk and now you have saved this document collection under the title research topic one. 
So um, now you can pull up different Nogopedias or you can clean up your reading desk um, because now you have saved these collection of documents under a specific topic. So Nogopedia not only allows you to build a reading desk for the current research, it also helps you to save research results for specific key topics. So this is what we call a Nogopedia encyclopedia. So uh, finally, it's not only limited to your own personal usage, you now can start to share this Nogopedia. So if you want to invite colleagues that they also can add interesting documents which might be interesting to the subject, you can just invite them to, to collaborate on this new Nogopedia. So you um, enter your email addresses here from your colleagues um, can give it a short description um, so and just share it and if the colleague is registered in the Noggle network he can connect now to this Nogglepedia so once you press share it's quite fast because this has a very low fingerprint for bandwidth and storage because you don't transfer the documents you only share the fingerprints of the documents. So, and with the sync button, if the colleague now logs in, presses the sync button, he will receive this new research topic only on his disk. So the colleague receives the same list here, and now the colleague also knows, ah, he has a special library, or, or he knows, ah, I can check my library against similar topics, and um, yeah, maybe hmm, I have some uh, special topics here. Uh, which might be interesting. Um, so I will add this document here to this Nogglepedia. And what now happens is if a colleague adds also a fingerprint, this will be synced with also the other colleagues which collaborate on this topic here. So this is what we call a swarm intelligence now um, because you have now a group researching on a topic and adding document fingerprints. So you will see also the document uh, your colleague has added here and you see for sure in the info box who has added it and again it's not the document it's only the fingerprint so um, you can request the document or you can now execute similarity searches on your library so maybe even you have the same document just start in a completely different location in your archive so the similarity search will be able to pull it up even on your local storage uh, even if it's uh, in a different place here or it will find similar documents to the one the colleague has added here. It's also the um, intelligent open feature in here. So once you have access to the document, you can directly open it. If you don't have access, you can directly send a document request to the colleague who has shared the fingerprint. So this is about the Nogopedia.